Ethiopia is constructing a huge hydropower dam in Africa, and it's the biggest one on the continent. This dam will create a massive reservoir that's more than twice the size of New York City. The goal is to produce a lot more clean and renewable energy for the country, which can benefit millions of people living nearby. But this project is causing some problems with Egypt and Sudan, the countries downstream. Egypt is concerned that this dam could reduce the amount of water they get from the Nile River. They've even mentioned that they might consider military action if things get worse. Today, we'll take a closer look at this big project and see if the tensions can be eased or if they might lead to conflict. Welcome to Superstructures! Ethiopia is building this enormous project because of the country's difficult history. In the past, Ethiopia faced problems like being ruled by other countries and having civil wars. But over the last two decades, they've managed to make their economy much bigger. Despite this, the living conditions are still tough due to ongoing fighting in the Tigray region and other issues. Many people in Ethiopia still don't have electricity, and the country struggles to provide enough power for its growing population and economy. To solve this issue, Ethiopia is spending billions of dollars to make its energy sector better. This project is huge. This single project is set to become the largest hydroelectric power facility the African continent has ever seen. The Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam is massive, standing 145 meters tall and stretching 1,780 meters long. It's Ethiopia's most significant and ambitious project, and it could change the country's future. Located about 10 kilometers from Sudan's border, the GERD is built on the Blue Nile, one of the Nile's major rivers, providing 85% of the water downstream. Construction began in 2011, with an estimated cost of $5 billion. Once it's done, the dam is set to produce a whopping 6,500 megawatts of clean and renewable energy, more than doubling Ethiopia's current power generation. Completing the dam will not only solve Ethiopia's long-standing power shortage, but also open doors to export electricity to neighboring nations like Djibouti, Sudan, Uganda, and Kenya. To unleash the full potential of the GERD, Ethiopia has one critical step to complete. Construction is nearly finished, but the essential final phase involves filling a massive reservoir with a volume of 74 cubic kilometers. To give you an idea of its size, this reservoir can hold more water than what flows through the Blue Nile in an entire year. That's why the reservoir filling is a lengthy process that's already taken Ethiopia over two years out of a possible seven. In contrast, over 2,000 kilometers downstream from the GERD's reservoir, Egypt views the mega project as an existential threat. Throughout human history, the Nile River has symbolized and provided life to Egypt. More than 95% of the country's population resides within a few kilometers of the Nile, enjoying fertile floodplains that stand in stark contrast to the surrounding Sahara Desert. Egypt has transformed from one of the world's most advanced ancient civilizations to the African powerhouse it is today, with the Nile serving as a vital lifeline. However, today, the very water source that has sustained them for millennia now jeopardizes their very existence. With 97% of their fresh water originating from the Nile and an annual per capita water share of only 590 cubic meters, it's an understatement to say that Egypt's survival is unimaginable without the Nile. It's no wonder that the construction of the GERD along with the planned filling of its massive reservoir is a significant source of worry for the Egyptians. Once the dam is fully operational, it poses a risk to both Egypt and neighboring Sudan, which also heavily depends on the Nile's economic and agricultural benefits. The idea of a foreign nation, Ethiopia, having direct control over the Nile's flow is viewed as a threat that could disrupt their political influence and power, as well as being a matter of survival. The GERD project introduces a new complexity for Ethiopia in terms of controlling the dam's floodgates. Ethiopia must carefully consider when and for how long to open or close these gates to avoid issues like excessive water evaporation and major flooding downstream. Egypt and Sudan also want a say in these decisions. Tensions between the three nations escalated in July 2020, when Ethiopia initiated the reservoir filling. Despite numerous complaints and requests for trilateral agreements, Ethiopia proceeded with the initial filling claiming it was a natural part of the dam's construction and couldn't be postponed. 
In July 2021, Egypt's foreign ministry criticized the Ethiopian government, accusing them of undermining the joint efforts of Egypt, Sudan, and the United Nations to establish a mutual agreement. Egypt also alleged that Ethiopia violated a 2015 Declaration of Principles, which all three countries had signed, prohibiting any signatory from undertaking Nile River projects without prior consultation with the other two. Egypt has previously stated that if their demands are not met and tensions continue to rise, they could consider a military response. Ethiopia, in response to the situation, has taken steps to enhance its defenses by installing anti-air missile systems around the dam. As of August this year, the likelihood of armed conflicts appears to be very low. Egypt and Sudan are now calling on the United Nations to step in and mediate negotiations among the three nations. However, cooperation still appears distant, as the involved parties continue to blame each other for delaying the negotiations. The current situation between the three nations doesn't appear to have a clear resolution in the near future. However, it doesn't have to remain this way indefinitely. If the three countries were to collaborate and consider the Nile as a shared resource benefiting everyone, there could be potential for Egypt and Sudan to gain from the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam. If managed effectively, the dam could help prevent major floods in the countries downstream, addressing a common issue. It could also better regulate the distribution of water downstream, protecting Sudan's and Egypt's own dams. Additionally, the energy produced by the dam could be a significant regional benefit. What are your thoughts on the GERD? Can Egypt, Sudan, and Ethiopia reach a solution? Or will negotiations persist for years? Share your opinions in the comments below. If you found this video interesting, don't forget to like and subscribe to Superstructures. Thank you for watching and we'll be back with more soon.